Civilian casualties continue to tick up as Israel stepped up its assault in the northern and southern parts of Gaza on Monday. Rescue crews brought in badly wounded civilians, some of them children, to a hospital in northern Bet Lahia. Some of the most intense fighting for weeks is raging in both the north and south. Israeli forces had gone back into Jabalia where they've said they have dismantled Hamas months ago to prevent militants regrouping there. A medical worker, Faraz Afna, says they've tried to reach the Jabalia camp. Bodies were recovered there after overnight strikes. But he claims Israeli forces had been targeting ambulance crews, blocking them from saving wounded and trapped civilians. In southern Gaza's Rafa, streets were near empty as Palestinians fled the fighting. Israel on Monday cut across a main highway into Rafa, closing a main crossing point for aid. The UN says a foreign security staff member was killed on Monday when a UN-marked vehicle traveling to a hospital in Rafa was struck. This marks the first international UN fatality in the Gaza war. Hamas's armed wing says due to Israeli bombardments, it lost contact with militants guarding four Israeli hostages, including US-Israeli citizen Hirsch Goldberg Polin, who appeared in a Hamas video in April. Supplies are also wearing thin for many displaced Palestinians who fled the northern south to Deir Abala in the center of the Gaza Strip. There is not enough water for all displaced people. There is not enough food, not enough markets for everyone. This water tank that you see, this was barely enough for those who were already here. It was already not enough, but we were living with it. So what about those who joined us? There are people from two camps in addition to our camp. The UN says around 360,000 people have fled Rafah since Israel's evacuation order a week ago. Many uprooted families are moving to empty tracts of land along the coast, but the UN warns of poor sanitary conditions there. Starving Palestinians on one side of the border and on the other, Israeli protesters blocking aid trucks to Gaza on Monday. Some Israelis were seen spilling contents of the trucks onto a road at a West Bank checkpoint, the second such incident in less than a week. This comes even as Israel has pledged to allow uninterrupted humanitarian supplies into the besieged enclave. Washington, which has paused some deliveries of weapons to Israel as it disagrees with an assault on Rafah, has denounced looting these convoys. Gaza health officials say the Palestinian death toll in the war has now surpassed 35,000. The conflict began after militant group Hamas burst into Israel on October 7th, killing 1,200 and taking more than 250 hostages.